Senator Rubio, will you call for ceasefire? No, I will not. On the contrary. Senator Rubio, please. Are you filming it? Wait, so yes. I want you guys to get this. I want them to destroy every element of Hamas they can get their hands on. These people are vicious animals who did horrifying crimes. And I hope you guys post that. And that's what about position. the civilians that I blame are being Hamas. killed every day? Hamas should stop hiding behind civilians, putting civilians in the way. Hamas knew that this was going to lead to this. So Hamas should stop building their military installations underneath hospitals. So you don't care that 15,000 have died? Do. You don't care about the babies that are I being care. killed I think every it's day? Horrifying. I think it's yeah. terrible, and I think Hamas is 100% to blame. That's what I think. Make sure you post that, please. So here we are outside the office of Senator Marco Rubio, who we ran into in the halls of Congress. And he called us Hamas supporters because we want to stop killing babies. So here is our response to Senator Rubio. This conflict, Senator Rubio, did not start on October 7th. It was preceded by decades of soul-crushing oppression against Palestinians that you and many other senators have refused to acknowledge. Oppression and despair is what led to October 7th. Despite billions in U.S. weapons, Israel will not be able to crush Hamas militarily. Why? Because with every bomb that kills more innocent people, more Palestinians are determined to take up arms. Many of today's Hamas fighters were orphaned in previous Israeli incursions into Gaza. You really need to understand this fact, Senator Rubio. There will never be peace in Israel until there is justice for Palestinians. Make sure you post that.